Hello YouTube, welcome. These are once again my hands. Now I know I haven't been around uh, too often. My hands and my um, other bodily parts. I don't know where I'm going with this really. Um, oh yeah, I know I haven't been around that much. Um, it's funny, last time I had a long delay before I was uploading regularly videos was, um, oh excuse me I'm losing my voice, was because um, I was sorting out internet in the my flat and now that's the same situation again in this new flat i'm sorting that internet that's why i haven't been uploading so much currently waiting for talk talk to give us some fiber optic 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 no it's optic isn't it fiber optic i oh, forget internet goodness um but for now i've had to do with the uh, normal wi-fi which normally would be fine for uploading but unfortunately it's so slow the basic one it, it just uh, can't really upload with it apparently it's to do with how far we are from the exchange um if they're not making stuff up apparently that's true um so okay that's the situation but you know um uh, uh, a very nice chap from OpenReach or BT, whatever they call themselves now, uh, as in an engineer, um, you know, that talk, talk, use. They came around and had to go out the line. Um, the first guy made a bit of improvement, and the second guy, he made much more of an improvement. So, um, it, uh, I think it will let me upload uh, in about two hours' time, this video. So, But, you know, that's better than nothing. Right, all I've got for you anyway is quite a quick video. I've got a blind bag, um, this is a Justice League action blind bag, um, as I say. Um, basically, I saw these in the pound shop, and I thought, oh, I'll get one of these. I'll just start with one, maybe get some more in the future. Um, yeah, and I thought for a pound, that is not too bad, really, because um, they would probably cost about ooh, somewhere between 199 I would say, and £2. I think they cost somewhere between 199 and 2 pounds right now so this is made in china because most of the world is um and they're from mattel it's got a question mark what's that i can't quite see that without going closer it's got a question mark and service mattel.com don't know why it's got a question mark oh if you've got questions for mattel oh right okay if you want to know about mattel's favorite food then you can just send them a message right this looks like it's series two so we kind of uh, missed out on series one um oh another thing is i know i say this every time it's because i'm still sorting it out my setup with camera and lighting currently isn't great i'm still working on that so i apologize if this isn't the best quality right so who will we get them from justice league will we get the lovely wonder woman um joker oh Oh, I was going to say, weren't in the Justice League film. These aren't specifically the Justice League film. These are just um, Justice League characters in general. A very young-looking Batman. I mean, this is based on Justice League Unlimited anime series, or I'm not sure. And it's got a link to DCKids.com. I mean, these ones are like kids. Um, I only say that because a lot of the action figures these days are aimed more at adults. Um, yeah, maybe that's why they've gone with younger models. Look how much younger the uh, characters look. You can see that. Um, so these are um, Mighty Minis, by the way. So, I don't know if it's a figure you've got to put together. Let's have a look. First of all, let's start with the piece of paper. You always get a piece of paper. And um, a checklist to see all the great people you could get. Or not great, but some of them are evil. Ah, is this a giveaway to who I got? Because it's shown in the middle. Oh no, look, you can um, do a sort of um, transformation, combination of different body parts to invent a new character it's showing. Oh, so they all connect with each other so that you can take Joker's arm should you want to. Um, his name's gone out of mind, legs, Batman's breastplate, and his name's gone out of mind. Oh, yellow, gold, golden Superman. Super Saiyan Superman, I'm going to call him, and his arm. Um, you can sort of do the same with that. Um, excellent stuff. And you can create a new character, but I won't be able to yet because I've only got one. Right, I see purple, I'm saying it's Joker. Right, that's right, I think I didn't see a head. What? <laughs> what? Did I miss? Oh. For a minute then I thought they hadn't given me the head. I mean I know you sort of create a figure with the other body parts, but I would have assumed they would have given you the head normally. So, yep, Joker. Hmm. Nice sort of uh, detail. It's the more cartoony version of Joker, I would say. Rather than the comic booky versions. Or maybe like some of the comic booky versions. Um right, so obviously we've got his legs, um, so I'm assuming that fits on there. 
that not too hard to fit on and then obviously he just needs his arm this isn't these aren't complicated at all to fit together really he says that and then struggles compared to some of the minifigures which you do need a degree in mathematical science to figure there we go he got no shoes oh he's already got his shoes on that's all right he came partly dressed Sometimes the arms are still difficult to get in. Or maybe I'm just getting weak. Oh, there we go. There he is. And just turn his head so he's facing the camera. And there he is. Um, it's an interesting style Joker. Yeah, he's a very um, wide eyed version. Yeah, bad little figure. So that's quite soft. Softly made. Right. Oh, well, that's that. Um, Add to my collection of DC related things. I do like a bit of DC. I love a bit of DC. Now on to a few nostalgic sweets. Um, I was in Tesco's the other day and I wanted something sweet. I was looking at sort of the ones that green and black chocolate. I love my dark chocolate. But I thought, no, I think like I need something a bit sweeter. As nice as that is, it's not that sweet. Um, and I was just looking into the section where they have the typical stuff that's sort of aimed more at kids. Um, you know, like the so-called uh, pocket money sweets. And I saw a flump. Now, oh, oh, it's flumps. Now, it's a bit strange I've called it flumps because that um, implies you get more than one. I swear it used to be called flump. Oh, it's some another Mandela effect. I'm going to have to look that up later. I thought it was called flump, but it's probably just that I always just called it flump just to be annoying. Right, so flumps then um, from Candyland. I don't know if that's the original company. They are fat free. They probably want to pop that in years ago when I remember it. We've got a little bit more. Um, Conscious with putting those kind of things on the marketing now, haven't we? Um, fluffy and mellow twist, they're described as. Now, here's what I remember about these. I used to love these, and I generally don't think I've had these possibly since I was a kid. Many, many, many years ago. I think it was at least 10 years ago, probably more since I've had one of these. So, um, I just thought it'd be interesting to try it, really. See, I remember these as being very, yeah, very, obviously very marshmallowy, maybe a little bit crumb but not crumbly maybe a little bit creamy but very almost something comforting about them just like i don't know what it was but something nice i think quite sweet but not too sweet i remember i used to really like them i think uh, if, if it was sort of like oh your parents like oh choose a sweet and a sweet shot i would go for flum now i'm sorry to be so repetitive because any time i try something from the old childhood and this happens with a lot of people do the same thing. We comment on the size, and of course it's a big thing now about the size. Things, chocolate's not been as uh, big as they used to be, they're shrinking, and then sometimes the companies we get back and maybe say, no, it's because, uh, you know, your childhood, you know, things seem bigger. But I know that sometimes that's not the case, like with the wagon wheels, they have definitely shrunk, and you can't, this conspiracy must end to try and stop us from thinking otherwise. And it's the same with this flump. I remember these as being huge things. That's why I like them, because they're like diving into a big, chunky marshmallow. And they're like this. They're, I don't know how that comes out on the camera, but these are small things. These are not These are not big at all. How many grams are they? It's got natural colours and flavours. It probably didn't used to have that when I remember. These are probably all sorts of chemicals. Um, oh, Barrett. Oh, look, it says formerly Barrett. Yes, formerly Barrett. That's the company I remember them as. Barrett. I'm, what's happened to that company? Have they gone? I remember they used to be on a lot of... Uh, Kitty favourite sweets. Ah, oh, so Candyland had taken them over. I can't find the weight. Oh, it must be. Hold on one minute. I'll just have a quick look. I need to get a bit close. Um, and it says vanilla. Oh, it's vanilla flavour. I never thought of it like that. Vanilla flavour fluffy marshmallow. Um, they've got a website, tangeruk.net, so you can complain to them about the site, the shrink is. 12 grams, you see, just 12 grams. I know they're quite light because they're. Um, marshmallow but 12 grams right anyway let's uh, have a taste and see if it's like what i remember oh yeah i think it's kept the same coloring pink and white it was pink and white weren't it yeah oh yeah that's what i meant to mention about i always remember it being flowery which i wasn't too keen on the fill of my fingers like then it's like the fill of flowers on my finger flower on my finger still don't do much actually like when you know when they put like flour on the bread i guess it's for texture but i don't like the fill of it i don't know what it is about that um but yeah, um, it's got this flowery feel, but it, it, it's quite tastes nice when you eat it. Right, let's let's have a go and see if these are as nice as I remember. Hmm. Oh yeah. It was so so soft. That's the other thing about them, wasn't it? So so soft. 
and got um yeah very vanilla i don't remember them being vanilla that's funny that well, i'll find out now if they were always vanilla because i don't remember that vanilla so but that sort of soft comforting marshmallow super soft that's still there mm. i like that it's nice because of course there's this big thing especially with uh the uh, social media sites i.e facebook that people are posting about how freddo has gone up in price and yet his size has say day the same or maybe it's even shrunk i don't know but it's, it's always been a small bar in fact i don't know why they do well, they don't do big bar because I, I really like the taste of it nice cadbury's dairy milk chocolate with like caramel inside um actually i do one with caramel don't know and one without again i've not had a freddo for many many years i think only i might have had one about five years ago to try and i've also had since then you know now they do a lot of sharing bags they do the little freddo sharing bag so I had a look in Tesco's to see, you know, how much they are now price-wise. And in Tesco's, the Freddo's are 26p. <gasps> There's a big thing about them going up to 25p. They're 26p in Tesco's. 1p more. What's going on? What's this? What is th what is this country coming to? 26p. So Freddo's come to sort of represent this thing about um, chocolates. It's become a bit of a mean thing now about chocolate, you know, going up in price. But, you know, getting smaller and smaller. And Freddo's has sort of come to represent that. Um, so I thought I'd try one and see if they are how I remember. Right, now here I have a Freddo. There he is. Look, he looks so innocent. But of course, the pricing thing. Now, I don't know if you've heard. Apparently, they're going to reduce it slightly. But I can't remember what it was to, the price. You know, Cadbury's have clearly had enough of people complaining about it on Facebook. Now, this may have melted slightly because I've got in quite a hot room. Because I've got a heat on, so it's quite cold. And now it's hot. Oh, no, it hasn't melted. It's fine. So that is meant to be a shape of a frog, but you wouldn't know because it's got a little bit crumbly. I like Tesco's, that's how they look after their chocolate. That's tasting. Mmm. There's no caramel inside. Um, yeah, but that still tastes nice to me. It does have a little bit of an aftertaste um, while you're eating it. And it's, obviously it's not, you can tell it's not real, real chocolate. You know, it's not like, obviously that high chocolate um, count, you know, cocaine count. But obviously it's not meant to be, it's milk, you know, chocolate. And I think sometimes, as much as I always say, well, I really do love dark chocolate, what you call proper, proper chocolate, quality chocolate. No high quality, um, lack of anything else other than the chocolate itself in it. However, I think sometimes you just want that sweet taste. Like, I really find that sometimes, and I just want some, um, uh, you know, dairy milk, some Cadbury's. I love dairy milk and Cadbury's chocolate. And there's obviously nothing wrong with that. It's nice to have, you know, as well. So I do like that. Or sometimes I just go craving for white chocolate as well. And uh, yeah, that Freddo would hit the spot quite nicely. But for 26p, it's a small little thing, isn't it? So yeah, that should be down to 15p. That. So I think it, I remember it being about 15p when I was a child. So we're saying that's at least, well, if you want to take it from when I was 18 or less, you know, or take it from when I was 16, that's like. 13 years ago so yeah so i guess you could argue it's only gone up 10p in 13 years but that's quite a lot for small bar um anyway that that's just it really that's um just a quick video for you um have i got anything else i want to say yes podcasts i'm going to be doing a lot of podcasts um they're on their way they're on their way um they're going to start off quite raw and by that i mean raw as in r a w not that i'll be going raw because that would frankly just be strange um which is probably why i'll be doing it actually in fairness um no and um, they would be raw as in they won't have you know they won't be a complete show at first i will be keeping certain features at work i'll be finding out what works and getting rid of others or you know just trying different things out and you know at first you probably won't have any jingles any bells and whistles and all that kind of stuff over time it will do and that kind of thing and it's hopefully shaped into something in the meantime um, you can see two that I've already uploaded that I've done with my sister and I will continue to do those ones hopefully like with my sister and other people I collab with maybe they will collab on the main show or maybe they will collab on a separate show um, it's just pinning them down and getting them in the same place so that they can record it's been a bit difficult with some people so maybe we'll do it over Skype or something we'll, we'll have to work something out but you know that's nature that's life um, um, there we go we just have to do our best to work around it um, uh, but yeah um, as you can tell because I like talking a lot um podcast will be a sort of platform that i've been meaning to use so i will be doing that a lot and i realize i'm talking and you are just staring at some cardboard so there we go that is your life for this few minutes so i'm so sorry about that um so um i'm gonna leave you and um love you see you later